So I welcome you to this video which talks about the defer statement. The defer statement is very simple to understand. So basically what it does is that whatever code we have inside this block of code after the defer keyword will be executed last in the function. So as you can see here by the output we have from this function here, um, we have 1, 3, 2. Right, so normally in this code order we would have 1, 2, 3, but because this print statement is here inside the defer block, this will be executed last before we leave the function, before we leave the scope of the function. So now you may ask yourself, well, when do we want to use something like that? Well, for that, I have something for you, um, which is another example. So basically, we have here just a simple calculation function, which takes two integers, and then we choose uh, the operator, and then this just gets executed and after the execution as you can see here uh, happens nothing right because we are here just returning directly after after we execute the result but what if we actually wanted to have something after we finished uh, the calculation so let's say we wanted to print out uh, done after we finished, then how would we do this? Because we know that after a return statement, the code won't get executed because this lets us get out of this code immediately. So that's a usage for our defer statements. Right, so we can just do something like that and now if we run this then as you can see this got executed before we have printed out our solution right so uh, even when we have return statements the code inside of a defer block will still get executed uh, last thank you very much